Welcome back to another advanced game maker studio tutorial and this is a follow up to one of my laser tutorials and actually I wanted to do that yesterday <clears throat> but I kind of did it the wrong way and well I couldn't finish it satisfyingly so it does work and now we can spam that thing to infinity and I will just show you how you can branch those lasers and I just do it with two branches so you see the yellow one orange one and then the violet one and of course you can do more this is just up to you so you understand the whole principle and how it does work and because I just cracked the 1000 subscribers I um, I just give it for free so you can download it and get it in the sprites as well so no problem here just grab it if you just wanted this stuff for free but no you can and I will just basically skip my intro, so I'm 1UP Indie, hello, and let's get into the good stuff. So, I will just give you a quick introduction to the old version, so before that I had, let's go for the pink one and the player. So, before that, so you understand the context, because without the advanced laser tutorial from the last time, maybe you don't understand it, so... If you have troubles, because I do that quite fast, then you maybe want to see that before because this is a follow-up. So what I do, I just well press my mouse and then I create the laser and between its starting point, so the player and then the X and Y of my mouse. So basically I'm firing from this point and then from this point and then I spawn a laser between those two points. and. For example, if that thing is just, it, this is just getting expanded on a specific direction. Then, for example, if it's hitting a wall, so these were the walls, then the laser stopped. For example, once we start it again, then you will see that it did work. But we come to a little problem because if you just have one laser, then it's no problem. You can do something like this. For example, if you want to branch out, Let's say, for example, you want to branch out here, and then the next laser, okay, let's do it like this with paint. So, for example, you have, uh, the, this is the top, then you're shooting with your laser upwards, bam, and then you want it to bounce off with the same uh, angle as this one. And here we come to quite a little problem. So, for example, if you are hitting... Uh, Da -da 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 -da. If you're hitting, for example, um, well, different kind of walls, then you get different kinds. For example, here you would expand it. You would um, um, well, um, imagine that you want it to go downwards and right. But for example, here, oh, but you cannot go downwards and right. Now you need to go to the left and upwards so basically we need to distinguish one horizontal walls and one vertical wall because this doesn't work with just one because well it doesn't work so you're gonna do this because the laser doesn't know hey am i hitting now a horizontal wall or am i hitting a vertical one so here we need to distinguish it a little bit different and therefore i did something like this i have horizontal walls and these ones are the vertical ones and then it actually does work so let's go quickly into the old version so you understand how the code works so let's go to pink or oh, basically the same no problem here so what am i doing first of all i need to calculate a few things so first of all i need to get my direction where the laser is heading and then i just expand it with the length via to let's say 900 to a, as a maximum value but of course uh, let's say I at some point have a collision so this is a loop a for loop and for example if I'm colliding with a wall so these were the red ones then I say break and then I break out of this whole loop then it ends and for example the length um, which is this variable just gets to a specific point and then it breaks if it's not hitting a wall it will just go onto 900 but a lot of times it doesn't go over that so you understand how that works and then because now i have that stuff i can actually draw the 
a laser and this is just again once again with a loop and here I just draw the laser which is what image let's go in here this is this guy here and these are just as you can see stripes which are, have different colors this is just basically it and by drawing them I just draw one by one by one by one into a specific direction and well uh, the, um, well, and as many as actually I have until I have a collision. This is again the later length variable. So you understand? So basically, uh, let's go to paint again. Let's make that go away. So how does my laser work? Basically, I have a starting point in the player, and then it will expand, expand, expand. And for example, here we're hitting a wall, and then this is my laser length. And then I'm just drawing one, two, three, four, and so on let's say 800 or 500 of those stripes and then they are combined one big laser thingy which you see on the screen this is just basically it. this is how you do it but now you well you can just for the other version how you can actually do that that I call the uh, the universal laser so let's copy that the player will now spawn this guy here because well it's similar but now we need to implement it not with just one wall but with the horizontal wall and the vertical wall so here let's go in our first part of the laser so the one which is not branching so the original one is it this one yep it's this one so the code is basically the same here we have um collision point and then we say hey with the horizontal then we break or if we are hitting uh, the vertical one then we break as well so this is the same structure but just with two collisions on two specific walls but there's no there, there's nothing happening um, there just on the breaking point I just spawn some particles so it does look better but for now we won't be doing that so and then I have a specific variable which I call the what bounds because now the laser needs to know hey am I hitting a horizontal wall or am I hitting a vertical one this is important because then you have to put in a different angle and this is very very important but for now for example this is the first laser it just says hey now my branching second laser so I guess the second one was the uh, the orange one I guess and then it needs to know hey what kind of angle are we using and therefore I have a pot bounce too it just as a two because it's the second laser and then for example for the third I call it a what bounce re so here no big changes then for example if we go into this second laser so this is the first branch we need to distinguish well first of all what are we hitting so are we hitting uh, with the first laser uh, a vertical wall or horizontal and then we say hey give it a direction not the direction of um, of the first one but a, well a second direction because now we need to have one for our second laser so for example we draw our first laser like this last time with a for loop then we just put in our direction and in J so this is part of the whole loop then we do the same with just j2 so this is just the second variable no problem but here we need to set a specific direction and here we don't start with our x because our x is the starting point this is the player we need the end point which we calculated so this is the x and uh, um, uh, y end point are the first points which are hitting a wall or an enemy and then these are at this point we are breaking and then because we are breaking we do and create from this point on the second laser which is well branching off and this is how it works and therefore we need a second direction because well we don't want it to go in the same one we need to go well in the one we actually need so this is how it works and then of course laser 3 lengths laser 2 lengths so this is the same stuff just um, well, do it and then for example we have a, a, a x and 2 so this is once again the second point so for example we have one laser 
hitting something, then we go with the second one, bam, and then we have in here a second end point, and from that we create the other one and branch off again. So this is how it works, these are just end points, they break, they define the length, and then you can go to the other one. A little bit complicated, I know, this is an advanced tutorial, I assume that you understand how that works. If you see the code in front of you, so you can actually check it out parallelly if you like. So, how actually can we um, well get this specific direction for the second laser? Well, well it just says direction and then um, times minus one. How can you actually understand this code? Let's say, for example, we're having uh, again a wall, then we're hitting with this laser. And then we have this specific angle. So let's say, for example, I don't know, it's 25. But, but then, for example, here we go downwards. So you can assume this is somewhere in this realm. So we just go minus 25, minus 25. Boom, it does work. So <laughs> I don't know, I cannot explain it more easy. So you go with uh, plus 25 and you go out with a minus 25 easy peasy and that you can go and do for the 180 degrees upwards and actually downwards as well so it works for all so what you see basically you just have um, one for example for the horizontal so we just go times minus one and then you see okay but the vertical one is different yeah because you need to if you go vertically you need to add half a circle um, again so for example once again as you can see this is the horizontal one and here you just go for a minus value and then it does work but if you go here and then minus value won't cut it that therefore you need to add 180 degrees extra but you do the times minus one anyway this is just the dis distinguishing factor between horizontal and vertical. This is what you do, and then in the end the code is pretty much the same. We stretch, uh, try to give it a maximum value, then we stretch it until it hits a point, so again, a horizontal wall or a vertical wall, and then once we're hitting, then we're having the bounce, uh, what bounce for the next laser. So this is for the violet one which is the third one and then of course we well um we get our points here here you see a little thing which i added which is called a buffer you don't really have to do that but for example sometimes it bugs and therefore i just give it a value of two three or five and then for example once we start it because now you won't be seeing particles now you just see the lasers in action bam as you can see uh, as you can see now here um, the lasers are kind of choppy this is on purpose so you understand that this uh, point is very very crucial because sometimes maybe you're not hitting it correctly and therefore maybe the second laser wouldn't be hitting off and then you maybe get some some garbage stuff which you don't want this is bad and for example let's see for example you are hitting the horizontal one which i explained it has a degree of 29 so this is the first value and then above it it's minus 20 and as you can see bam it does work for example once we're hitting a, a vertical one as you can see our pointing in is 34 but for example if you would put it to minus 34 this wouldn't cut it and therefore we need to add a sweet 180 degrees as well so this is how it works bam and then well once again this is the same stuff and then of course you can do a third laser branch no big differences everything works the same so this is how it is i had some really big troubles concerning how um, to get those directions but I guess the easiest version is the best ones because this kind of works so yeah I had some really complicated um, solutions to it it didn't work at all for me so yeah screw that 
but <laughs> they do now so this is how the stuff works and well you draw here we just have some stuff to check it out but for example this stuff it is not needed this is just for debugging for me you can actually see and then the last thing maybe if you're thinking like what the hell is flicker this is just giving to your image y index so it, uh, the image uh, y scale just an extra value for example if you put it to one let's go for one start it again then those lasers are not flickering at all so this is just for you so you understand how that code is but i did explain that in the last tutorial and now you see a little bit more clearly this these um, distances are the buffer because sometimes it doesn't work too co correctly and therefore i just give it some extra distance then so it looks kind of better i just put in particles over it so you don't see those uh, <coughs> imperfections here so that was pretty much it for this tutorial and the next video will be a little bit about the channel where it is going uh, goals and so on and so on i just wanted to give you a clear impression so you understand where all this thing is heading to. So that was it for today. Have a good one. One up in.